Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I'm at a weird angle. I'm looking up at the camera because I will be turning it to do my little project that I will be doing in this video. And the lighting's probably not right. I have lighting all pointing down to my craft desk because tonight my video is going to be cleaning this remote control. I asked you guys in my recent random facts video if you guys wanted to watch me clean this remote and just said yes and I explained that sometimes buttons don't work that good and if you know that your batteries are okay well especially if it's like just a couple buttons then you know usually it means the batteries are good but there's something funky going on usually means that there's dirty under there. So what I do is I take my remote apart and I clean it. And it's very easy to do and I will show you how to do it. It's pretty much the same for all remotes. The way I discovered doing this was a long time ago. I had a remote that was completely dead. I mean, it wasn't doing anything. So I was just curious and wanted to see what it looked like inside. So I took it apart. And when I took it apart, I noticed that there was like um, maybe some soda or beverage or booze. <laughs> That had somehow, you know, been spilled and it gets through these little um, numbers and this is like one solid pad of rubber or plastic or whatever, but still the stuff can roll down and get through onto this little board that you will see in there. So I thought maybe that just needs to be cleaned. So I cleaned it and I put it back together and the remote magically worked. So what I have issues with right now on this one, did I already tell you? I can't remember. My number eight is not working good. Where is it? And then um, this that goes back and forth from channel to channel. So we're hoping we're gonna be able to clean it. So I'm just going to uh, put the camera down. And we're gonna get started. You will need a tiny uh, like eyeglasses screwdriver. Since I'm a woman with tools, I have a set. I have a set of tools here with a little tiny. I think my tiniest one is a little bit broken. I can't remember if it is. Oh, that's good. So let's just put the camera down and get this done. You're going to just take your batteries out. And there is usually a, <laughs> a screw in there somewhere. And I can see that there is one right there. I'm trying to see if there might be one in there too, but I don't think so. So let me take my tiniest little screwdriver here and see if I can unscrew that. Looks like I can. Then you do not want to lose that little screw. The remotes can be different. Some you have to pry apart. Some will slide. I want to make sure I don't have another screw. How can I see in here? I'm just trying to look at something here. This is the trickiest part. What I do is I just try to pry it open. So I'm going to take a bigger screwdriver. Just see if I can. Obviously, I have taken this one apart before because I can see that there's marks. I'm sure someone is going to tell me that I'm doing this all the wrong way. And I probably am, but I don't care. Let's see, just gonna try to go around. Ah, there we go. We took it apart. All this can be washed right here. That's all just plastic. This little board is going to get wiped down. This little rubber piece here with the numbers, we're gonna go wash that in soapy warm water and this part. So let me go wash these three things and I will bring a cloth over to wipe this down and then we'll go from there. I washed these parts and I am going to, um, just wanna make sure that the, um, the contacts, I don't know, on those numbers, the black spots, which are just rubbery. Just gonna wipe those really good and I'm gonna make sure I dry this good. Then I am going to just dry these things. They look pretty dry to me. All right, now this guy, people are probably going to say, you're not supposed to do that. This is what I've been doing for years. If you have any concerns, I bet you, if you look up your remote control online, you will find a way to open it, to clean it, or whatnot. I started cleaning remotes way before I even had a computer, so I could not look up instructions. And you know me, I don't follow rules. I just wipe this down and dry it off. That's it. Now we're just gonna rebuild it. 
So we take this thing with the holes, and we're going to put our little keypad back in. Did you know it was like that? Just one solid thing? Pretty cool, huh? Let's make sure they're all poking through. Get in there. Get, get, get in there. Got it. Okay. Got it. Then next goes of this guy. Then next goes of this guy. There we go. There. Just snap that all back together. Screw that you don't want to lose. Get that back in there. Batteries. Now, I am going to go to that TV and tell you if it works. I'll be honest. I should have tried it before putting the little screw back on. My number eight works, which was not working at all. But this little one that goes back and forth from channel to channel, that one still wasn't working. So I usually test it first, and then what I would do is just really wipe that good behind that one, and that might make it work. But at this point, I don't care because I got my number eight, and that's what I wanted. So if you have a remote that's giving you a hard time, take it apart. You might be surprised what you find in there. I always stay pretty clean because there's no kids in the house, you know, nobody spilling food or drinks on them. I hope it was helpful, and it'll save you a lot of hanging of remotes. <laughs> Does anybody do that besides me? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!